<laughs> nice! Back to the basics, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna have a look at a very unique reef tank in Germany. Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. If you do not know this channel, hi, my name is Toby and here you can see one of the most unique and exclusive private reef tank setups all over the world. As you can see in our reef tank, it is already night, so our one and only Mr. Swim Shady is hunting for some shrimps. By the way, our super low budget project from last week is doing great. So the corals are looking awesome and the water is completely clear. I got a message from Flo in which he said that I have to take a closer look at his reef tank setup. I think this is a perfect start into 2021. So let's go. The scaping was perfectly done by Flo. You know I'm a shallow reef fan and with the dimensions 140 to 100 to 50 centimeters, I would put this display directly in my apartment. Maybe in the bathroom or something like that because it's getting crowded. Anyway, this coral reef tent stands since 3 years and contains a lot of LPS corals on the bottom and a complete SPS roof. So the focus here was on corals, but we find a few small fish like brasses, tanks and a swarm of chromies. The old country house was completely restored. The aquarium separates the living area from the dining room. I love the depth of the tank. So with one meter you've got enough place for building a huge reef construction. I remember one of my last tanks with two and a half meter to 40 to 40 centimeters. And with tanks like that, it's very hard to create a perfect aquascape. Flo did a wonderful job with this. There is a crevice in the middle of the reef. And I'm sure that some of you have already noticed there is no sand. Personally, I find sand always more natural. However, Flo has already made some negative experience with sand in the aquarium. And I've spoken with many people who can confirm this. So what is your opinion? Sand or better not? The four Ecotec Radiance G4 Pros cast a wonderful light in the biotope. A highlight in this aquarium is definitely the giant clam. We have already made a video about the giant clams for home. Therefore, some certainly know that this is a Tridecna. A Tridecna de Rasa with stripes. A very interesting animal. Also, Flo breeds plate corals and he was so nice to give us one to take home. That little beauty find a wonderful place in the sea-friendly reef tank. 
Another special feature is that the equipment is located in the basement. So it is not only very quiet in the living area, but you can also create a small hobby room. Not bad Floor, you can spend a few hours here. In addition to a fleece filter and a lime reactor, there's a large skimmer from Tunze. And that is according to the owner Flo also the secret recipe. Every two weeks he makes a water change with about 10% and the Red Sea salt. In addition from day one he puts everything full of corals to generate consumers and he attached great importance to a good skimmer. I hope you like the tank as much as I do and I would be happy if we meet again next week.